Hi, this is Jason from Effective Maintenance Dashboards. In this lesson, I want to just expand on a previous video which I created where I covered how we can hack the 100% start bar graph to create a drill through and a filter on top of one of these cards. So a card normally doesn't allow you to drill through, but if you place one of these 100% bar charts on top, um, it allows you to do that. So check out our previous video, I'll put a link below. Um, but one thing I did find and I think is worth covering is that in the in the video, what I did is I created a drill through for each one of these cards here. Now they, these cards have got an axis, which is safety, environmental production and routine work criticality. And that's fine and it works really well because you create a bar for work criticality equals one, or work criticality equals two in this, this chart here. You hide it and everything works fine. So check out that video if you need to know more about how to do this. However, what I never covered was how to create a drill through if you have a value which doesn't have a category. So in this example here, we've got the total backlog and the total backlog measure calculates the total backlog regardless of the filters that's applied. It always displays this total backlog figure and there's no category, so it's not split by anything. So there's a couple of things, issues with that. And the, the first one is, I'm just clicking on a few things here. Um, how do we replicate this functionality or allow a similar functionality? So someone can click on this card here and they can go and look at those 745 work orders. So the obvious op option is to copy the actual card here and use the same approach. So we could lay it on top of here and then we can then take off the filters and then we can right click on here. However, because we've got this filtered by Let's take all the filters off here. There we go. What happens is behind the scenes, remember this is a bar, this is a hundred percent bar chart, and we've got work criticality as the axis, so it's creating a bar for each one of those work criticalities. And here you can see here, this is going to be depending on how on, on where we are and which which one it is. You're going to right click on one of these, you're going to drill through, and it's going to give you a number, which doesn't represent anything. So that number has already been pre-filtered for environmental, but we wanted to see everything. So how do we overcome this? Well, it's actually very straightforward. In this examples here, all we would do is create a bookmark and overlay the bookmark. So let's go and do that just now. So I'm going to go and insert a new shape, a rectangle, and I'm going to put the line color as uh, or the line weight is zero. I'm going to put the fill as off, and that is pretty much it. Right, so that's on top of here. And then what we're going to do is allocate an action to this bookmark. Now we already have a a value here to view all backlog because prior to this prior to me understanding you could do this and figuring out you could do this I um, I created a, a bookmark here exactly for this purpose so if we wanted to see the total backlog we could just click here and go and view it however what I've realized is that we could do I take this approach so rather than have this button here we can simply have a bookmark overlaid on top of the card and then we go and select that. So I've selected here, I, I've not selected the card, I've actually selected that, that shape. So if you want to see that, if you go to view and go to selection, you can see we've got that shape selected. And I am going to allocate an action to that shape, which is going to be a bookmark. And the bookmark is going to be all backlog. Now, if you want to understand how we create that bookmark, bookmark, I cover that in the course. So there's a free, a free course 
that explains how to create this dashboard and you can get that course at effective-dashboards.com I'll leave a link underneath but now for now let's just create this bookmark so it is going to bookmark to all backlog put a little note here, a little tooltip to view work order details we hover here, click to view work order details and here we have 745. So this bookmark's been set up to to always show this this to always show all backlog. So if we go back, so if I apply a filter on safety critical backlog, and then I click on here, again it's going to take us to that 745. And then we simply copy that and place it across this card and it's as simple as that and once we've done that we can actually delete that because we don't need it anymore if somebody wants to see all the backlog they don't need to go and click a button here they just need to click here and then go back if somebody wants to see the 26 work orders that are safety critical you can that's the only thing it's two slightly different functions you need to right click on here for you just to actually click on that one there so that's that's not ideal and then you can see the 26 work orders okay so I just wanted to cover that in a separate video because I think it's important that we um, that you understand that you, there's a different approach for for using the um, or for enabling or, or hacking the ability to drill through from a card if you've got a category or an ex or an access as opposed to where you don't have any access at all. Okay, thanks for listening and be sure to like this video if you like it and also subscribe to keep yourself up to date with any of the, the new quick quick tips and the maintenance KPIs I'll be uh, videos that I'm going to be creating and I will talk to you in the next video.